Um, just to give you some idea of um, how uh, things like um, overriding works in the virtual machine, um, I've got this little diagram here. Um, uh, actually, there are lots of different ways in which the virtual machine could be uh, written. Um, this is just one rather naive sort of view, but um, it'll give you an idea. Right then, there are uh, three areas of memory. Uh, there's the stack, which is just an ordinary stack, which is used to pass parameters to and from methods and to hold local variables. As pointed to by the top of the stack, that's straightforward. Uh, there's the heap, and the heap contains um, objects, and uh, um, all of the objects in the system are located in the heap somewhere. There's the code pool, and um, methods and things like that are uh, are held in the code pool. Now in this example I've got uh, class B extending A, and um, uh, when you do a, a new for a class what happens is um, an area gets allocated on the heap to hold all of the instance variables of the class. And if we do new for class B, um, an area gets set aside for all the instance variables which are in class B, and also all the instance variables that are in class A as well. Okay, so we get uh, both lots, an area for the stuff that's in A and also the stuff that's unique to B. That's because um, B extends A. Now also if you think about it, that means you get all the instance variables for superclasses of A as well. And in fact that's true, but um, this diagram gets a little crowded if I put too much in. So you can see we get instance variables for, well basically, all of the classes and all the superclasses of that whenever you do new. Now I've given a, uh, I've put a reference here as a, a pointer and um, this would normally be located either on the stack if a local variable was referring to it obviously or um, somewhere in another object for instance it may, it may be present like that. Right now one of the special fields which are in all of the um, all objects is a special field which is used to get to into the um, uh, code pool to refer to something called the method table or the virtual method table um, for the class. Now what happens is this um, um, all the methods that are present in the class are uh, referred to by pointers in this table. Now I've only shown the pointers to um, the methods in class A here, but it would also be pointers to methods in the super class of A and so on all the way up to object. They'd all be present in this table. Now, if we look at class B which extends it, now exactly the same thing occurs. Um, uh, method 1 gets a pointer at the front there, method 2, method 3 and 4 and so on. And if you look at this, at method 3, which overrides that method, then what happens is the pointer in the table is overridden. And these tables get, get built when the class is loaded, so they're all present in memory when the class gets pulled in. Um, and I was going to say yes, um, static data, um, that's obviously located with the class in there somewhere, and so are the instance methods are in there too. Right, now there are, there are four different op codes in the virtual machine which deal with calls. There's invoke virtual, and that's used to invoke any instance method. Um, it, uh, if you think about it, um, you, once you know the name of the method, 
um, and signature property as well you can just go straight to some offset in the table to get the uh, pointer to whichever method you've got to use um, invoke static uh, that's used to call static methods uh, there's invoke special um, that's used for two purposes that's used to um, invoke constructors and also to use to bypass um, uh, local overriding with um, um, basically using super so if you do super uh, method 3 it will result in invoke special being used as ARP code there's also invoke interface interfaces are a bit more tricky and um, there's uh, a number of ways of doing it uh, one I suppose naive way would be um, you've got this class B here um, every uh, um, interface that it uh, implements might get its own table um, of uh, uh, method pointers basically something like that, that would probably work and um, uh, that's basically how it's done just remember um, uh, I've, I haven't shown all the um, all the meth the entire method table because it would be a bit at the front there in fact it would point a bit further up to, to give you all the methods in the super classes as well but this diagram was difficult enough to draw as it was but uh, you get the idea okay